I'm a person of faith. Uh, that is my starting point for this conversation today. It's my worldview that there is a God. Um, and so I, I've wrestled a lot with what it looks like for my faith and my work as a scientist to be integrated. Um, and I think ultimately I have found that my, my scientific work informs my faith um, and my faith informs my scientific work. And, and here's what I mean by that really quickly. So by my science informing my faith, I think that the discoveries that we make, it adds this sort of wonderfully surprising color to the things I believe. Um, <clears throat> my famous scientist is, uh, favorite scientist is Johannes Kepler, a 17th century polymath. Um, and, and he believed, even though he was a physicist and astronomer and mathematician, that he was really a priest, uh, that he was dispatched to uncover hidden mysteries in the world and then go and share that with other people and celebrate it. Right? It's sort of what he thought the meaning of his life was. Um, and I've tried to think about what that means and how I can pattern myself against that because that's very compelling to me as well. Um, and I'll just give, sort of give you an example of the ways in which I try to do this in the, my teaching as well as in my work. I mentioned that I study the genome, right? the full complement of our DNA. Well, it turns out that uh, over the evolutionary process, little pieces of viral DNA have integrated into our genomes, right? So we could take any one of your cells, extract DNA and read across, and we'll be going across and suddenly hit a piece that's actually uh, originated from a virus that infected our ancestors long ago. Right? Well, it turns out that some of these little pieces of viral DNA have helped shape the development of the human placenta, right? Which I think is just fascinating, right? Here you have an organ that is critical for the protection and the nourishment of a developing child in a mother's womb. Um, and viruses or pieces of viral DNA might actually be critical for that to take place. To me, it doesn't uh, push God out or contrast with my faith it actually just adds this really beautiful color. So when people say, well, how do you reconcile that with Psalm 139 that says, God is the one who knits us together in our mother's womb? Well, I think the way I reconcile it is who is to say he can't use viruses to accomplish that, right? Um, and so I think these are sort of really wonderful and creative ways that I get to experience on a daily basis of how my, my science and my faith can, can intersect. And